What's up everyone, my name is Carlos Antillian. I'm gonna show you how to properly balance your DJI RS3 Mini. Right here, I got the Sony a7 III with the 16 to 35 lens. And yeah, show you how to balance it in horizontal mode and vertical mode. All right, so we're gonna start off with a uh, vertical mode. And first off, you wanna get your quick release plate on. And depending on how heavy your lens is, that's how far up and down you want to adjust this. So I put it more forward. As you can see, it's more back up here. So the plate's leaning up more forward because the lens is a little bit heavier. All right, so we got the DJI Mini S3. And what we're going to do is just slide it right on. We should slide right on there. Alright, so now you slide it right on, and if you look here, there's this lever, you just want to close this lever, set it to the lock position. Alright, so, so after you get your camera slid in there, the next step is, there's a little lock right here, and then you want to unlock that. When you unlock that, you basically got the whole camera leaning down, and the way to adjust that is right here on the top right side of your gimbal. You want to lift this lever and this will give you access to move this up and down. So what you're going to do is, depending which way it's leaning, since it's leaning forward right now, you want to bring this back. You want to bring this back. Bring the camera back until it stops leaning forward. And then now it's laying a little backwards. Just bring it up a little bit. Just slight micro adjustments every time so you don't throw it off too much. Boom. Now it's not laying forward. Close that lever that's right there. Now that's locked. Your next step is to keep the camera staying like this. Right? You want to keep it staying up. But since it's not doing that, what you want to do is there's this lever right here, and then it controls. Let's see, it controls this area. Put the light over there for you. So yeah, it controls this. So you want to bring this up and down. So let's try that again. Bring it like this. It's falling forward. So all the weights at the end. Right. So we're gonna bring it back. Right. Bring it back. That's too much. Boom, too much. Still too much. Still too much. Still. And it's staying. So now what we do is lock this into place. Oh, there we go. Lock that into place. And you should be good. So what's next? is the back side. So the back side, you have this lever right here that you want to unlock. So right now it's still locked. Bottom here, there's another switch to unlock it. And it can't really see, so you lift it up. Boom. All right, so we're now we're at the back side. And as you can see, it's tilting this way, right? All the weight's coming from this end. So what we're going to do is push this end more out that way. All right, and then perfectly, I think that did the trick. It's good. All right, so the last step we got is right here. As you see, there's another lock in position, and there's another lever on the other side. So what we're going to do first is unlock that. And to make this easier, we can lock all the previous positions we did. All right, keep that there. Lock this one. Keep that there and then now the only thing is turning is this okay so now what we got to figure out is hold the camera to the side and see if it moves and if it's not spinning like crazy you're pretty much balanced right so I'll show you what it's like when it's not balanced so and balanced it and it's falling apart right your camera wants, should stay like this, straight. So what you do is get this lever, 
unlock that lever. I think it's easier if you set it down first, bring it back to where you think it will stay. And if it doesn't stay too much, unlock it. It's falling that way. Bring it back a little bit. And just bring it back a little bit more. It's easier to pick up the camera and hold it again. And then that's it. Then place it back down, lock it in its position, and make sure you unlock everything again so it's all free and dandy. And it should stay where you want it to, which right now it's kind of not. So it's staying here. It's going back a little bit. We want to make sure it's the best possible balance. So now the balanced. Now yeah, we can put it up here. Should stay relatively. This arm is still leaning one way. So still a little heavy one side. We could adjust it just a teeny bit to help it out. And then we should be good to go. We should be able to put the camera anywhere and it should basically stay. All right, so your next step you want to do is hold the power button, turn it on. And make sure you hold the power button, turn it on. <laughs> I didn't do it that time. All right, so as you can see here, this button would be your uh, calibration. And it is a little dark. I mean, it's a little bright, so it's kind of hard to read. But let's see if we can. There you go. See, all right. And then you hit start calibration. And then the camera will be doing its thing. All right, it's going to be moving, calibrating. And then once it's finished, it's going to tell you it's complete, tell you it's all good. All right, and then you should be ready to use your gimbal as you like to use it. All right, it's pretty sweet. You're ready to use it. You go tilt up and down and whatever you want. You're ready for uh, some gimbling, you know what I mean? Some stabilizing shots. Nice, beautiful, panty action. All right, so next. I will show you guys how to set up this gimbal for vertical shooting. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Let me adjust my camera. All right, what's up everyone? We're gonna start by setting up for vertical shooting. So first thing, thing is we need to get this red lever out, which I can't see right now. Get that red lever, open that thing up. There's a button on the other side. Hold that button, slide it right off and then your camera should come right off. Boom. The next thing is, now we got this little bottom piece here. We need to take this off. So what you do is unlock this bottom piece. Right at the bottom here, there's a little switch, right? Hold that switch. Oh, excuse me. Hold that switch so it comes off. So now this bottom piece is off. You don't need it, throw that away. Never mind. don't throw it away. Anyways, now you got your camera. You get your gimbal, that bottom piece is off. And if you look right here, if you look right there, there's a there's a slide area, right? And what we're gonna do is get your camera to the side and then line these things up, right? Line them up, and then it should slide right in. Just like that, easily. After you slid your camera right in there, you gotta readjust it. Readjust everything to balance it. It doesn't take too long. So all it is is practice. So first off, what I like to do a lot is to lock these things back up, right? So it stays. So we don't have everything all bobbling around. Lock this one back up right at the bottom there. Boom. That's stuck. Now they're locked. And what we want to do is make sure this camera stays up. 
So we're going to unlock this lever and then we're going to pull again back and forth along this edge to keep it straight, right? We're balancing it. So let's uh, bring it back. So if it's forward, bring it back. And if it stays, you're good. Lock that into place. Bam. So next is the upside down. And the way to adjust that is the red lever, right? So we can bring this up and down. And we're going to bring this up. We're going to bring it up, slide it up until it stays upside down, right? And if it, just give it a little bit of micro adjustments. Not too much is needed. Then close the red lever. It should lock into place. It should stay wherever you want. Boom. That means it's balanced. Next, of course, you guessed it, is the sideways one. All right? Now, you want to unlock it. Look at that, all the weight's coming on this side, so we want to give some weight to the other side, right? Keep sliding it over until it's good. Now it's good, lock it back up. Last step is the side step. Boom, unlock it, see if it holds, and it doesn't hold. All right, so if it doesn't hold, what are we gonna do? Easy way. I like to lock everything back up so it doesn't go move all crazy and wibble, wibble, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't move all crazy. You got it? Got it. Got it. So let's unlock this. The weight's going that way. So what we're going to do is pull this out a little bit. And then let's see. So the weight's going a little back. Unlock this a little bit more. And then just microly adjust it until it doesn't do that anymore, right? So the weight's going that way again. Pick everything up. You do it like this, but it's kind of heavy. And just a little bit more. And that looks good enough for me. All right, and then the same thing, after you got everything adjusted, unlock everything. Make sure everything's unlocked before you turn on the gimbal. And then, you know, turn on the gimbal. And then you want to start calibration like you did for horizontal mode. And one easy way to do that is hold the M button for about five seconds. And then place it down. And it should start calibrating. Nope. Or not. Or not. And now we're calibrating and this we'll let it calibrate. It says calibration is complete. And we're ready for vertical shooting, everyone. Look how beautiful that is. And if you're ready to do some shorts, reels, TikToks. Wherever the hell you want to make. And uh, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope uh, if you really like this video, like and subscribe. And uh, maybe maybe I'll make some more. Who knows? No one watches. Who, who cares? At the end of the day, right? All right, thank you. Goodbye. I'm going to go shoot some shorts or something.